What is up you guys? My name is Lily. I'm a fiber artist and knitwear designer and I like to make things. So the day that I'm posting this is the Met Gala and no I was not invited but that's not gonna stop me from being nosy and pretending like I'm going anyways. So the theme of this year's Met Gala is Karl Lagerfeld of Throughline which is obviously in honor of the late and iconic Karl Lagerfeld and there's a huge emphasis on his design process. So I decided to take that inspiration and make my own outfit for the Met Gala. So I was looking through Lagerfeld sketches and then I found this sketch and I was like this is iconic because not only is it like timeless Chanel like Karl Lagerfeld but it also is weirdly on trend with like that flower detail that I feel like we're seeing everywhere. From there I came up with this sketch and that is what we're going to be making today. So without further ado let's just get right into me making my Met Gala outfit and manifest my attendance one year soon. <laughs> Ow. Hello beautiful people. I'm so excited to start this project. I just wound up so much yarn. I don't know how much yarn this is gonna take because obviously everything I do, I have no idea what I'm doing until I do it. But I chose pink and green for this Karl Lagerfeld inspired dress. And I'm gonna start with pink on top. And right now I'm just gonna cast on the maximum amount of stitches in the panel setting. Let's do it. Forgot to mention I'm going in with my acrylic waist yarn as always. I highly recommend starting every center knitting machine project with acrylic waist yarn. I'll show you how to remove it later but if you don't know exactly what that means or is watch literally any of my other videos and I go over this like every time so I just finished my waist yarn and I went in stitches three through 46. Um, I can't really read this. All the plastic is like breaking off my knitting machine because I use this thing so much as you probably know. This is like my official request to the central knitting machine makers to send me another machine. But so I'm going in with my pink body yarn and I'm gonna do this for 121 rows. And in case anyone is wondering, this purple thing is actually a row counter for the panel knitting machine setting. Every time this little metal thing passes by it, it adds one. So I just did my first row and I'm gonna do 121. Let's get into it. I just finished my 121st row and actually hold please I'm gonna close my door <laughs> they're building a place next door to my house and I'm gonna go back in with my waist yarn and do like 15 20 more rows of that and then we're going in for the green panel which is gonna be the bottom half done with the first panel guys it's just a panel i make these all the time i don't know how to make this entertaining i'm a little scared so the yarn that i got if you don't know me i dye all my yarn i buy it wholesale it's over there and i dye it i got a slightly heavier weight yarn this time around because they were out of the one i normally have so this panel is girthier than the old one so i'm just hoping it's not too long but it always seems like it's going to be like super long and that it's not so that's the tea right now also look at all this fucking shit i have so many projects and videos and stuff going on right now it's like too much i actually thought of this video this morning and just decided to like stop everything and do it but yeah so now we're gonna go in with the bottom half panel which is gonna be in green it's gonna be the same amount of stitches i'm just gonna do it for like twice the rows let's do it just finished my waist yarn for the green panel and i'm going in with my green yarn now and I'm gonna do 244 rows of this. And again, I'm doing stitches three through 46 in the panel setting. You know you've been going too long when you start like slouching over the table like this. Like I'm literally like, this panel needs to be over. I'm on row 173, okay, I'm close. I'm literally sweating. Hi. So I just finished my green panel and I low-key forgot to show you like that it's so long taking it off the machine. I was like meaning to film a clip of that and I was so tunnel vision that I forgot. But so I just finished my green panel. It's 244 rows long and 43 stitches wide. Hot. It's like really nice and thick. I'm kind of obsessed with it. And obviously I have my pink panel here. So I'm going to make one more pink and one more green exactly the same way off camera. And I will be right back, cutties. Peace. Lunch break. 
This is literally how I eat. I like lay down on my couch. I'm not tired all the time. Okay, I finished all four panels. Bada boom, or yeah, <laughs> bada boom, bada bing. And the next obvious and boring step is just removing the waist churn on all of my panels. I'll show, I don't know if I, I, th I don't think I'm gonna go in depth about this because I always do this in all my videos, but I'll show you. It's waist yarn removal time. Without going too in depth, and I've already started, all I'm doing is putting a single crochet in the last stitch of the green section here to just secure the edge, and then I'll remove the, this yarn on top. Sometimes I do half double crochets, sometimes I do single crochets. You can even do slip stitches, but it just for me depends on how stretchy I need a panel to be, and I don't need this panel to be like super stretchy. The smaller of a stitch you use, the less gapping you'll have between the stitches. When you do have double crochets, there is like quite a bit of gapping and that's like fine, but not what I want for this project. So that is the T. So I have my single crochets in every single stitch and now you just unwind your waist yarn. Literally, why do I say everything so weird? And boom. So I'm gonna do that on all the waist yarn sections of all the panels, and then we're gonna start assembling. It was is that it's not, she didn't do that, so whatever. Yeah. Have fun. You guys, I'm listening to this rewatch podcast of Real Housewives of Salt Lake City called Privileged Twinks, and I'm so obsessed. I literally have been listening to this nonstop for like five straight days. Like, I'm on episode, I'm on episode 10, and they're like 45. Oh my god. I've been listening to them for like 10 hours. Like these men are like my friends at this point. You guys have if you watch Real Housewives, you have to listen to this. Um, I'll link it or something. Okay, bye. <laughs> yarn in all of my panels and now I have the top part of the dress here and I just pinned the shoulders and the sides together so basically I'm going to stitch the shoulders 12 stitches together so I have my little oopsie my little neck opening there and then I'm just gonna slip stitch down both sides here and I left 46 rows for my arm opening I just find that's like worked for me in the past so that's what I'm doing so it's gonna be a little bit of a assembly moment let me tell you something. Don't mind my robe, but this is what the top, well, it's actually a dress, but this is what the top of the dress is looking like. I love this. I wish like I could just have this as a tank top and I definitely can and I can make that, but that's the tea. Guys, can you tell I'm tired? <laughs> I have been working on this dress all day, as you've seen, and I'm honestly making amazing progress, but that's the thing, like I've been working all day straight. I'm trying to finish this in a day, which is what I do in all my effing videos. Um, and then I'm always like, this is way too much. Why did you do this to yourself? But as you saw, I just pinned these panels together very carefully because sometimes I don't like line them up perfectly. And then like one side will have like 10 extra rows than the other when I'm slip stitching it together. So I wanted to make sure that these were perfectly lined up. And now I'm just gonna slip stitch down both sides. And that's my truth and my tea and my story. And I'm turning my podcast back on. I finished slip stitching the skirt together. <laughs> Don't mind my underwear. And I'm just gonna pin these two panels together and decide like where I want my little cutouts to be. Like, what do I think about that? It's literally like cutouts all around. And then I'll have my little bows here. Looks pretty. Bring out the relatable content. Jenny, uh, <laughs> maybe not cookie. <laughs> So I have my two panels here and I'm just gonna connect them at the point. So as you can see, I have my little stitch markers where I'm gonna connect the two panels. And I basically did one row of single crochets at the end of this panel. And I'm doing the same thing on the green one here. And so basically like once I reach, sorry, this stitch marker, I'm just gonna slip stitch like that. And now the two panels are connected. That is how I'm connecting the two pieces together and creating those like little cutie cutouts. 
and boom. So I think the next step is honestly to do the bows or maybe make the flower. The only problem is the dress might be slightly too long. So TBD, but you will see in 0.1 seconds. Time to make the bows. I stay looking really bad on my channel. I just woke up. I finished all my bows. I just showed you how to do one. I finished all of them. I have six bows. And now it is time for me to figure out how to make a little crochet flower to go right here in the dress. Let's do it. So you guys just saw me working on this like little flower spiral and literally the last thing is just like rolling it up and sewing it and then it becomes like basically this like little flower and so I'm gonna finish up the flower and attach all the accoutrement off camera then I'm gonna shower so I look okay and it's time for the reveal it's grand reveal time <laughs> Ta -da! this is what I made guys Oh my god, wait. First of all, you're on my tiny iPhone. I shoot all my videos on my iPhone. I cannot really see myself. I hope that the shot looks good, but I'm really in love with this one, honestly. I feel like I say that about all of my designs, but like it really is like reminiscent of that sketch, in my opinion, with like the color blocking, like the low waist, the like really simple embellishments. Also, I wore these like really high platform, like cork heels, because I feel like they're giving like Chanel Resort, like vintage 90s. Anyway, I'm kind of obsessed with it. The flower is so cute. I love the low cutouts. I feel like that's such a like sexy and underrated place to have cutouts. But yeah, this is my Met Gala look inspired by this Chanel sketch. Shout out to Carl Lagerfeld, who is an icon and a king. I'm so excited to see everybody's Met Gala looks. Maybe I'll do a little bit of a knitwear review. But with all of that being said, you guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching this video. If you like tutorials and DIYs and crafty girl things, subscribe to my channel and give this video a like and share it with your crafty girl friends. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.